Hello there, Shawnee here. I'm gonna bring you along as I make some dinner tonight. Um, I'm going to be making a tamale chicken casserole. But what you do is you make a cornbread type bottom layer. You top it with enchilada sauce and chicken and then cheese. Um, it's really, really good. The recipe that I originally got, I'm not, I don't remember exactly where I got it from, but it called for Jif cornbread mix on the bottom with the corn and stuff that will also go in the bottom part. But I actually like to use the cornbread recipe that I have. And so I actually will show you how I do that with it today. Um, and then that cornbread recipe um, is one that I've shared with you guys in the past. I'll put the link for it on the video and then also the link to the playlist that it's in is gonna be in the end screen. So if you're gonna be using uh, the Jif, you would want to use one box of Jif and then you would add your can of cream corn and then two eggs, a half a cup of milk, a teaspoon of chili powder and a teaspoon of cumin and then a cup of shredded cheese. But since I'm gonna be using my recipe for cornbread on the bottom instead of the Jif ready-made mix, um, we actually will do it a little bit differently. And so for the way I do it is I actually go ahead and I do my regular cornbread recipe. And then my cornbread recipe just calls for one egg, but because this recipe in itself calls for two eggs to begin with, I do do two eggs and then I do that can of corn and then the cup of cheese. Um, but I will show all of it to you and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so as I said, the original recipe calls for um, muffin mix and then your can of cream corn, two eggs, half a cup of milk, chili powder and cumin, and your shredded cheese. But I am actually going to be using my own cornbread recipe. Um, so I have a video on that already. So it's gonna be the exact same as my regular cornbread all the way up until the point of the eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in here and then we'll go from that point. Okay, so now at this point in my regular cornbread recipe, I would add one egg, but with the, this casserole recipe, I'm gonna do two eggs. And you may not have noticed, but I also did not add any vanilla that I usually add to my cornbread because this is a, a casserole and we don't want to have it be too sweet. And then at this point, I am also gonna add my can of cream corn. get that mixed in there and then um, the recipe for my cornbread also calls for some melted butter and I'm gonna put that in here as well after I've mixed this part in a little bit and with this one I'm not as worried about the egg being over beaten um, because it's just it's not actually a cornbread texture, so you don't have to worry about trying to keep fluffiness going. <laughs> okay, and then once that's all mixed in, you're actually gonna add one cup of cheese. And it's about a cup, and I just measure by hand. We will be putting more cheese on top of the casserole itself in a little bit after it cooks a little. But this is so you don't want to put your cheese away just yet. Okay, and then you want to put some chili powder in there, um, up to a teaspoon. I don't do that much. I do like a quarter, but if you like it, put more in. And then you also want to do cumin, um, about a teaspoon of cumin. We like cumin, so I do a little bit more than a teaspoon of cumin. Okay, and then give it a good mix. And then I grease my, I use the same pan that I use for my cornbread in general. And then I also grease it just like I do for my cornbread, which is with some butter. And again, as I said in my cornbread video, you can use a different oil to grease. You can use any oil you'd like to grease your pan. I like butter, 
And this is going to be casserole, so it's going to be about this tall. So you want to make sure and get your grease all the way up. Okay, and then just evenly coat your pan. Okay, and then we will bake it at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. So as the cornbread part is cooking for our 20 minutes, we're going to go ahead and get the chicken part ready. So you're going to want to use some red enchilada sauce. Today I'm going to be using this um, old El Paso brand, but it doesn't matter. You can use home can. We don't have any right now, so I'm using this. My family likes mild. That's what I use. But if you like medium or hot, go for it. And I'm going to be using some of my home can chicken. Now you can see this broth in here. That is good broth. You don't want to throw that away. Generally in a recipe like a soup or something, I would actually just put that in, but this we we don't need that extra moisture. So I'm actually gonna put it in a, another can and put it in the fridge and use it for another a different day for a different recipe. And you're gonna want three cups of chicken. So I'm gonna use two jars. And I like to smash my chicken up a little bit just so that it's a little bit easier um, for the kids to eat more bite size you can also use rotisserie chicken if you did a rotisserie chicken or you bought one from the store and deboned it um, that works fabulously leftover chicken etc um, you can also use store can chicken as long as it's pre-cooked it'll work and add our enchilada sauce And mix it in really well and coat all that chicken up and then after after our cornbread mix has cooked for 20 minutes we will put this on top of it and cheese on top of that and then bake it for another 20 minutes and it will be ready to eat all right so this is after 20 minutes I don't know if you'll be able to see on the screen on the video but it's still very soft so as you put your chicken on, you want to spread it out, plump it all in the middle. It's going to kind of sink in. You won't be able to spread it out so much. So you want to just kind of do little globs here and there. As you can see, that one's kind of sinking in. And of course, it's more so soft in the middle. All right. So as you can see, I just kind of globbed it around and you just want to spread it out as best you can without really mashing it in because it will sink in if you press too hard. But just kind of spread it out. Okay, and then once you have it all spread out, you're gonna top it with your shredded cheese. And you can measure one cup and just do that or you can just cover, which is what I do. And I do a liberal amount of cheese on there. And it will melt and spread out, but you want to make sure and get your cheese everywhere. All right, and then we are going to put it back in our oven for another 20 minutes, and it will be ready to eat. So thank you for coming along with me as I made dinner tonight. We would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel, and please like and share our videos, and we will see you next time.